there are programs or websites that you often go to while using Music Master, you can set up user buttons to access them conveniently from the toolbar. To enable this feature, you need to create a simple notepad document with some settings. First, look in your Music Master program directory and see if you already have a file called musicmaster.ini. This is an initialization file that contains instructions that Music Master reads when it launches. If you have the file, double-click to edit it. If you do not, create a new file in Notepad and save it as musicmaster.ini. Let's create a few different kinds of buttons so you can see how it works. For the first example, we'll make a button that links to the Music Master support portal. First, we need to add a section header for the button, formatted as user button one enclosed in brackets. Because we're launching a website, we'll type URL equals, followed by the URL of the support portal. Next, we'll put in a tooltip indicating that this is the Music Master support site. The tooltip is what you will see when you hover over the icon. Next, we'll add a caption. This will be the button's label. We'll call ours support. Finally, we'll set the mode so it opens in our external web browser and not within Music Master. Now let's make a second button that takes us to Wikipedia. Just going to Wikipedia is nice, but we can make it even more useful by automatically opening the page of the selected artist. Before we do that, you need to get one other piece of information, the field ID of your artist field. You can get this by going into Music Master and hovering over the artist column in your library grid, or going to Dataset, Library, Fields. In our data, the artist field is field 102. Back in the INI file, we'll create user button 2. Then we'll add the URL for Wikipedia, followed by a search parameter that includes the field number, like so. Our tooltip this time is Wikipedia Artist Search, and for caption we'll write Wiki Artist. This time we'll make it open the internal Music Master web browser. We'll add an image icon to this button. Icon should be 32 by 32 pixels in size. I recommend searching Google Images and using the tools to filter by size. If you can't find one that fits, you can resize any image using Paint or a similar image editing software. Here's a list of the file formats that you can use. To add my icon to my any file, I'll type image equals followed by the image path. Let's check out what we've done so far. Save the file and launch Music Master. Here, we can see the button for launching the support portal, and it takes us right to the Music Master website. Clicking the Wikipedia button brings up the internal browser and loads a Wikipedia search for the selected artist, in this case, Aerosmith. We're going to create one more button that actually launches an application to edit the selected song's audio file. Before we close Music Master, let's get the field ID of our audio file path information. Remember, you can either get this by hovering over that field in your grid or going to Dataset Library Fields. We'll also need to know the location of our audio editing program. In my case, it's Adobe Audition. With that information, we'll go back to our INI file and create User Button 3. Since it's an application and not a website, we'll type App equals followed by Audition's location on my system. We'll also add a command line, which will load the selected audio file into Audition when it launches. For this, we need that field number we looked up before, as well as the path where the audio files are stored. In my case, C Music. Finally, we'll create a tooltip and a caption. When I save the file and relaunch Music Master, you can see a new button has been created. When I select a song and click my new button, Audition launches and loads that song's audio file. These are just a few of the buttons you can configure. As long as it's a website or a program, you can set up a user button in Music Master to access it quicker. For more information on how to set up user buttons, contact your Music Master scheduling consultant.